get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, fifth grade. Guys, this week we're going to do a little bit more with our song from Jamaica, Water Come On Me Eye, and we're going to add a brand new instrument this week with a very, very tricky pattern. So, get your instruments ready, and get ready to make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Alrighty, fifth grade, we're heading back to Jamaica for Liza. Every time I remember Liza, water come a me eye. Every time that I think of Liza, water come a me eye. Come back, Liza, come back, gal. Water come a me eye. Come back, Liza, come back, gal. Water come a me eye. I still waiting at home for Liza. Water come a me eye. Heart is sore, but I wait for Liza. Water come a me eye. Come back, Liza, come back, gal. Water come a me eye. Come back, Liza, come back, gal. Water come a me eye. Nice. Now, there's something else we can do with this song. It's actually really cool. If you've got somebody else at your house, you can do this with them. You actually need two people to make this work. Or you could do it with your phone. It's a lot less fun, though, unless you have two people. Okay, so I recorded myself singing that song. Now, when we sing, What a come a me I. Notes go like that, right? What a come a me I. There's something really cool you can do with your voice, though. You can actually sing in harmony. Now, as a quick refresher, harmony is more than one note happening at the same time. And the harmony we're looking for is very pleasing to the ear. It's going to sound good. So we're going to sing a part that's very similar. It's going to follow the same shape. What a come a me I. What a come a me I. Very, very similar. But it's going to start lower. In fact, it's going to start a third lower. It's going to start a third lower. Listen. What a come a me I. Same shape. Watch. What a come a me I. See how it sort of follows the same shape of the melody? It's just we're starting on a lower note. So listen. What a come a me I. Try that. What a come a me I. Again. What a come a me I. Try it by yourself this time. This is what it sounds like when you sing it with the other part at the same time. Listen. Every time I remember Liza, what a come of me I. Every time that I think of Liza, what a come of me I. Come back, Liza, come back, gal. What a come of me I. Come back, Liza, what a come a me I. Harmony really adds a lot to music. It actually really adds a lot to the melody. It makes it sound really cool. So if you have someone else you can sing with, you can sing one of the parts, and they can sing the other part at the same time. What a come a me I. What a come a me I. Following that same melodic shape but just starting on two different pitches. Kind of cool to do. So find someone to do that with, see if you can teach it to them, and most importantly, have fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, guys, last week I asked you to look for some idiophones. Look around, could you find anything? Now we have different versions of idiophones. We actually have three different ones. We have ones you can hit, ones you can scrape, and ones you can shake. We have the Guiro, it's a scrape. We have the claves, the ones you hit together, and we have the maracas, which you shake. But I asked you last week to be a little bit creative and look around. So for this week, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to share some of those, okay? What did you find? Did you find anything cool? Did you make something else? I don't know. What I want you to do is, in the description below, there's a link to a Flipgrid. What I want you to do is post and show me some of the things you found around your house that you can hit, 
you can scrape, or you can shake to make sound. Those are the idiophones, okay? Now, another type of instrument is called a membranophone. Now, a membranophone has a membrane. What is a membrane? Are you insane in the membrane? Well, hopefully not, but a membrane is sort of like a skin, okay? Think about instruments that have a skin. Can you think about any instruments that have a skin? How about ones that you maybe hit? Might be giving you a little bit of a clue there, obviously. Like a drum, right, okay? We're gonna be making a membranophone coming up very shortly. It's a very specific one, which I'll show you, because I asked you to get some materials last week. But before we do that, we're gonna switch gears and we're going to practice those claves, guiros, and maracas part coming up next. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Alrighty, guys, let's start with our claves. Here we go. Remember the part? And stop. Good. The clave is playing that rhythm, which is also called a clave. Okay, next we've got the guiro. Yes, the scraper. What are you using to scrape this with? I'm using a pencil. Use something different? I don't know. You can tell me about it. I'd like to hear about it. Here we go. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Good. That's a really cool sound of that tin can, okay? Is your tin can the same size? Is it bigger? Is it smaller? What does it sound like? Be interested to hear that. Next, the maracas. Remember this part. This is the trickiest of the parts. We've got. And stop. Good. Now, last week we also added a new instrument, which we used this bucket for. Going back to the bucket. This must be like a conga drum. Now, a conga drum is a membrane phone. We were just talking about that. It has a membrane. Now, this is not really a membrane. It's just you know, a plastic head, but it kind of is. We use your imagination, okay? And this part is... And stop. Good, okay. Now, we got all four parts. Can you... Put those together, I'm gonna to show you the video next. Pick one of the instruments, play it, go back, try another one. Or if you got people to play along with you, try it with everybody else, all right? So have some fun making some music, but get it ready, coming up next, I'm gonna show you how you can very easily make another type of drum. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Alrighty guys, our next instrument is a pretty cool one. Our next instrument are these. What are these called? Well, they're called bongo drums. Okay, bongo drums. Now you might notice something about these bongo drums. First of all, there's two of them, but you also notice that the size is not the same. One of them is big and one of them is, well actually that pointed the wrong one there. This is actually the big one. I know big and small, I'm an adult. Okay, this is a big one, this is small. Based on what you know, how do you think these are gonna sound when I hit them? How's the big one going to sound? How's the small one going to sound? Well, here is the small one. Here's the big one. Ooh, different pitches, different sounds. Smaller one makes a higher sound. Bigger one makes a lower sound. Now, these bongos are very, very cool. 
I can't expect you to buy these or have these. So there's a way you can do this if you just get some really cheap things. For instance, buckets, tell you what, these buckets, multi-purpose buckets here, guys. Now you'll notice that these two buckets are different sizes, obviously. These are actually bigger difference than those, but we have one big and one small. So again, the small one, I should hold the same way I had the other ones, it's gonna make a higher sound. Bigger ones make a lower sound. Exactly. Now you can tape these together if you want. If you wanna just hold them like that, that works too, okay? But here is the pattern that we're gonna be playing on these bongos. This is a very tricky pattern. The maraca pattern was hard. This one might be harder, okay? Here we go. It seems easy, but I'll show you why it's a little bit tricky. Here we go. It is high, low, low, 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 high, low, low. Now, it doesn't seem too hard, right? The tricky part is this. When do you start playing? With your hand you're hitting with. I want you to start with one hand on your lap. Like, actually hit your lap for the first beat. Watch. So you play one high and two lows. But in between when you play those, you're gonna hit your lap. So watch, it's gonna be lap, high, lap, low, low, lap, high, lap, low, low, lap, high, lap, low, low, lap, high, lap, low, low. Lap, high, lap, low, low. Okay? Practice that this week. We're not going to put this with the other part yet. This part we need to really make sure we get by itself, okay? So, do it slowly at first. Don't do it fast. Take it slow. Then you can gradually speed it up. Then eventually, you got to take away the lap. Don't hit your lap. You have to kind of feel that beat instead. So watch. Tricky. Okay, so practice that this week, because next week we're going to put it with the other parts. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fifth grade, a quick note about next week. Now, next week, I'm going to be showing you how to do something on an instrument that we cannot make. This is an instrument that you'd have to have. Now, if you don't have this instrument, that's fine. But I think some of you out there might, because I know there's a couple kids at our school that actually have these, or maybe someone in their family has one. A ukulele, okay? Now, do you have to go buy a ukulele? No, you do not have to. If you want to, we're going to be using them a little bit. I'll show you a couple things how to do them. If you want to buy one, great. If you don't, that's fine too, okay? You can still just watch and enjoy the music. But if you have a ukulele, we're going to use it next week. If you want to buy a ukulele, you can look for one. I tell you, a good place to go is Lozer's Music Store in downtown Lebanon. They got some good ukuleles there, okay? So if you want to get one, great. If not, they're a little bit expensive, okay? So please don't feel like you have to get one. But I'm going to show you a couple things next week how we can make some music that will go very, very well with our music from the Caribbean. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next time, grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Stop.